Hi kids, it's Tracy, and I'm gonna read you a story about wildlife. Well, it's actually a story about some bears and some squirrels and friends like that, but I'm the wildlife lady, and, uh, and there's so much that we can learn from wildlife around us. So today, if you can, look around and see who's in your backyard living there. Do you see any squirrels? Do you see birds? Do you see frogs? Do you see lizards? That's all wildlife, right? You see that chicken over there? That's not wildlife, right? That's domestic. All right, that's our little wildlife moment right there. Okay, two friends and a bear, okay? One day, my friends were out walking on the w in the woods. Isn't it a fine day, said one of the friends, whose name was Big Jack. Very fine, said the other, who was called Little Joe. But isn't it dangerous in this part of the woods? I hear it's full of wild animals. Nothing I can't handle, said Big Jack. Just then, the two friends heard a, a bark in the distance. This is a squirrel and this is a raccoon. And that's funny that they said that there's wild animals since they're both really, they're wildlife. Okay. Just then, the two friends heard a big, a bark in the distance. What was that? Asked Little Joe nervously. It's just a wild dog, said Big Jack. I can take care of a wild dog with one arm tied behind my back. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, said Little Joe. Just then, the two friends heard a howl. Arrgh! What was that, asked Little Joe, even more nervously. Nothing but a wolf, said Big Jack. Don't you worry. I can handle that wolf blindfolded. Blindfolded, if you say so, says Little Joe. Just then, the two friends heard a mighty roar. Little Joe jumped out of his shoes. What was that? He cried. Let me come over here. Before Big Jack could answer, a giant bear bounded out of the bushes. He was headed straight for them. Help! cried Big Jack. The brave fellow grabbed only nearby tree limb and oh, the brave fellow grabbed the only nearby tree limb and hoisted himself up into the tree. Little Joe had no idea what to do. The only thing he could do. Oh, the only thing he could think of was to throw himself flat on the ground, and that's what he did. The bear waddled over to little Joe, put his muzzle to Joe's ear, and sniffed. Now, I want you all to imagine how much that would tickle. That would really tickle. I'd be like, ah! So, all right, so that's what he did. When the bear was safely, he shook his large head, and then he slouched away. When the bear was safely out of sight, Big Jack came down out of his tree. That was a close one, huh, little Joe? He said laughing, ha oh, ha. But tell me, what did Mr. Bruin whisper in your ear? Little Joe beckoned to his friend Big Jack, moved closer. Then little Joe leaned over and whispered, the bear said, never trust a friend who deserts you in a pinch. <gasps> With that, Little Joe headed for home, leaving Big Jack standing in the woods by himself. Okay, kids? That's right. Look at that bear. You see that bear? Telling him little secrets about how to be good friends. See you guys later. Bye.